I'm going to show you how to subtract numbers in a much faster way. And before I do that, I want you to memorize this chart or not memorize, but at least be able to get the blue numbers when I give you the black ones. 1 corresponds with 9, 2 corresponds with 8, 3 corresponds with 7, 4 corresponds with 6, 5 with 5, 6 with 4, 7 with 3, 8 with 2, and 9 with 1. And how you can memorize this is by looking at how these two numbers add up to 10. So when I give you 1, 1 number and 1 add up to 10, and you're going to say that's 9. When I give you 5, well, 5 plus 5 is 10, so you are going to give me 5. 8 is going to be 2 because 8 plus 2 is 10. So start by memorizing or at least be able to adjust to the numbers in this chart. Now, now let's actually try to subtract things. Let's look at an example. 37 minus 19. What you're going to do in this case, you're going to start with the 7 and 9. And you can, as you can see, 7 is not bigger than 9. 9 is bigger than 7. And when this when when if 9 was bigger than 7 you just subtract right if if the top number was bigger than the bottom number you just subtract right away but in this case that's not the case so you're going to use this chart and how you're going to use it is by looking at the no looking at this number the bottom one and looking at which number in the chart it corresponds to like in this case this number is 9 so it corresponds with 1 and what you're going to do in your head, you're going to add this 1 and the top number up. So 1 plus 7, and that's going to give you 8. And whenever you use this trick, you're going to make this number 1 less than what it used to be. So now this is 2, and 2 minus 1 becomes 1. So it's going to be 18. Let me try to do this in, in my head. Let's attempt 74 minus 36. In this case, 6 is more than 4, so look at the chart. 6 corresponds with 4, because 6 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 4 is 8. And now the 7 becomes a 6. 6 minus 3 is a 3. Let's do one more. And I'm going to get, I'm going to show you a harder one. Uh, let's try 91 minus 27. In this case, 1 is smaller than 7, so you look at the chart, 7 corresponds with 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, now this 9 is an 8, 8 minus 2 is a 6. Now let's try to do a harder one. Let's say you have 7, 2, 5, 6, minus 2, 7, 2, 9. Okay, let's start with the last one, 6 and 9. Well, let's use the chart because the bottom one is bigger than the top. 9 corresponds with 1 because 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 6 is 7. Now this 5 is a 4. Well, 4 is bigger than 2, so you can subtract right away. 4 minus 2 is 2. And let's look at this one. 2 and 7. Well, 7 corresponds with 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now this is a 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Now let's do another one. That's very hard. It's very long, in fact. 1, 2... 7, 5, 6, 8, I don't know, 2, 4, 4, 7, minus, uh, 7, 5, I don't know, 6, 9, 2, 0, 1, 7, 6. Let's try this one. Well, 7 minus 6, that's going to be 1. 4 and 7, let's look at 7. 7 corresponds with 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. Now this is a 3. 3 minus 1 is a 2. Since you did not use the trick with 4 minus 1 or 3 minus 1, you don't have to change this number. So it's still going to be 2 minus 0, which is 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 and 9 to the trick. 9 corresponds with 1, plus 6 is 7. Now this thing is a 4, and you have 4 and 6, so you use the trick. 6 corresponds with 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. Now this becomes a 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. 7 corresponds with 3, plus 2 is 5, and this becomes 0. And that's how you do a faster subtraction.